Hey YouTube family, welcome to the very first installment of the 4x4 journal Where not only are we taking adventures in this beautiful Japanese import behind me But I got something else in store for you as well A surprise you might say And for those who don't know me, I'm Devin on deck Welcome to my channel Now let me show you something. What you're looking at is the new On Deck Garage Workshop. Right now it's a dusty, dirty, blank slate, I know, but we're gonna transform it into a garage, obviously, but somewhere we can document all the mods. So we're gonna put lighting in there, and it'll be kind of a showroom, but kind of an office hybrid. And we already started vlogging the process of the workshop build, and that'll all be included in this series as well. And naturally, we'll sprinkle in a little fashion here and there, but as y'all know, personal style extends way beyond what you wear. So I'm super excited to connect with y'all on our intro outside of just clothes and shoes you feel me so anyway in this video we're gonna cover three things I'm gonna give a little backstory on my baby here go over all the mods that we did since the last video and if you haven't seen it I will link it down below for you just in case you missed it and at the very end go on a little drive do a little Q&A how's that sound all right, so if you're new here, this is my 1996 Toyota Land Cruiser from Japan. It is a three door, has a RFP top, diesel engine. It's a thing of beauty. And the first thing you probably noticed that I changed from last time, the wheels and tires. The ones before just felt a lot more flashy. They just weren't really my style. So I wanted to go with something that was a lot more timeless. And these are just gorgeous in my opinion. And for the tires, I wanted something a little bit more aggressive. So I went with the Toyo Open Countries. And one thing you probably didn't notice from last time is that the original color of this car was white but at some point i think when the flashy rims are on there it was also purple so it was white first then purple and then now black and this is the color i'm gonna keep it so we're gonna stick with this another thing that i ended up swapping out was the radio I went with the lcd screen with apple carplay i have a really bad sense of direction so it was super important that i got this and now i don't have to look at my phone constantly when i'm driving around la but i also have an aftermarket backup camera as well and you wouldn't even know it was there if you looked at it but it's right here where the light is for the license plate and just like i told y'all i would i put a quick release steering wheel in this bad boy it's by nrg as you can see but i deleted that logo with a little bit of leather that i have from my old phone case and not only does it look really good in my opinion it also gives me a lot more leg room so y'all know i have a short torso and long legs and with the original steering wheel my legs were knocking up against this constantly now i got a couple inches probably about four inches of space here and it makes a world of a difference with that flat bottom and i think it's like two to four inches smaller than the original one and the horn still works but now this bad boy can just pop right off and it's a little bit of an added security measure as well so win-win oh and last but not least i found Finally got this bad boy detailed. So that smell that was in here before, completely gone. I don't know if y'all remember that boo-boo stain <laughs> that was in this seat, completely gone now. All the interior is spotless, except for like the stained stuff. I mean, it is a 20 year old car and the person before me was a smoker. So you got like burns here or like, you know, stuff that smoke does like, you know, the tar yellowing of different things. And on top of that, this is gonna save me some money because a lot of things that I thought I needed to change out on the interior just needed to really to get clean. So now a lot of these things are looking basically brand new. So it helps me really zero in on the parts I really need. You feel me? I would say it's two things. One, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved and enjoyed a good Jeep, but that's all I really knew. And as I got older, you know, you get exposed to more stuff. Now it's Defenders, it's Broncos. I'm gonna show you my Instagram saves of all these vehicles that I've saved over the years. You'll see a whole bunch of, especially like older four by fours. I love a boxy, old school looking truck. And the second thing is when I went to Japan in March. Now, if you guys are familiar with any JDM vehicles, a lot of them are very boxy, especially the ones from the 90s. What really took the cake for me is when I saw a truck like this, a fucking Land Cruiser, bro. And I saw that it was a short wheelbase. 
race because all the ones in the US as you guys know are the long daddies and that's not really my thing I feel like they feel they just don't feel right to me that feels like too much truck but this feels like a good size it feels stylish I can still park normally it's not taking up a whole bunch of space it just feels wavy to me so when I saw it I was like that's what I need and turns out if you don't get one that's fully restored it's not that expensive it's gonna take more work but that's the fun part right like really building a relationship with your car obsessing over parts like I've been man spending way too much time online trying to find parts for this old car but that's the fun of it and I've really been enjoying that now as far as purchasing this bad boy I got this from Mississippi so it was already a guy who had it and he already imported it from Japan so it was much easier for me to purchase it it ran me for I want to say 27,000 and then to ship it over here from Mississippi to Los Angeles was maybe a grand Now as far as driving on the right side now this is something that took a lot of getting used to I would say About a month or two and really all that I try to do is make sure that hey Make sure you feel like you are in the passenger seat. If you feel like a passenger, you're doing the right thing. If you feel like you're a little bit over to the left, just a little bit too much, you definitely are. So you really just gotta get comfortable riding that right side, being a lot closer to cars parked or whatever than you're used to. And then also, when I get back in my family car, reorienting my mind to do that too. Everything else though is basically normal. The gas and brake are on the same side. Oh, the only other thing is the windshield wiper and the turning signal are opposite. So I always tell myself, outside, 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 because sometimes I'll flip the other one every now and again, but I'm pretty much used to it now. Now, one thing I do get though is a lot of looks, because people will drive past me and then they do a double take like, oh, that guy's on the wrong side. But really, I'm just on the right side. Side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the last question that I saw a lot from y'all was, do I plan on camping in this truck? And the answer is yes. I grew up in Northern California, which is the San Francisco area, but Oakland is really where I grew up. We have a lot of forest and trees and campsites that are just not too far. I did a lot of camping growing up, a lot of outdoors, a lot of hiking and stuff like that. And I'm still very much into hiking, as you guys know. So yes, it will become a camper eventually. Obviously, I got to get it up to snuff. I think phase one for me is to restore this back to its original glory. Phase two is to put my spin on it. I really want to add a few little modern touches and takes to it. Then phase three, is to make it a outdoorsy campy situation now mostly this will definitely be a pavement princess I will never do off-roading deep water none of that it's not happening but going to like a dope little campsite and kind of glamping glamorous camping especially with my wife she's not gonna go for anything that ain't got like you know just a little bit more cushiness we're not about to go super bare bones we're gonna bring some food you know what I mean we're not like catching what we eat and all that but I definitely want to camp in this so you will see a ladder in the back eventually I'll probably get some type of power conversion I have been looking at and flagging like some tailgate tables that swing out the back of the third door. You know what I mean? I've been keeping my eye on stuff and it'll definitely happen, but it'll probably end up being, I want to say like next summer 